Breakfast Stadium with Jordan Clark. Martin beats one man, shoots left foot in. What a goal from Neil Martin. Not a bad way to get your first Paul Town goal, that's for sure. Every goal. Burbage to O'Hanlon on a hat trick, charging in towards the 18 yard box. Just a goalkeeper to beat, and there's the hat trick for Josh O'Hanlon. Every game. Leaves for Steve Devlin, who plays a, a beautiful lob over the top of Grant and into the back of the net. A cheeky little chip from Steve Devlin. Exquisite goal from the Dolphins midfield. That's four in two games for him now after his hat trick against Bashley. Stadium with Jordan Clark. Good afternoon and welcome to the Carlsberg Stadium ahead of our live and exclusive commentary in the FA Trophy. It's the second qualifying round. It's Biggles Way Town against Paul Town and it's right here on Hot Radio. Breaking news for you this morning. Hot Radio can exclusively reveal Paul Town has set to re-sign defender Will Spetch after his contract at Sutton United was terminated by mutual consent. Wednesday morning, 10 past 8, and speaking to the other side, we got a little exclusive this morning, dug up by Jordan. Jordan, what's this exclusive story about? Yeah, big news for Paul Town. Confirmed last night, former Paul Town defender Will Spetch is coming back to the club. Marvin Brooks brings it down and then tries to play in Carl Preston. Comes back to Devlin, who's hit one from distance. Yes! He's loved the Beckham! goalkeeper from Beckham! just inside his own half. What Beckham! a strike from Steve Devlin. 15 minutes gone, Paul Town 3, Truro City 0 and Steve Devlin has just hit an unbelievable strike. Beckham-esque is just glided over the top of the goalkeeper. He couldn't have hit that any sweeter. Busy day for you at the Cherries yesterday, possibly an imminent departure. Yeah, it certainly was and it looks like it. Lewis Graben, Cherries top goalscorer this season, turns out has a release clause in his contract. I did speak to Eddie Howe yesterday about the situation, here's what he had to say. Eddie, club have confirmed today that a bid has been received for Lewis Graben, which has triggered a release clause in his contract. With a release clause, I know it's difficult, but you'd always want what's best for the club. Do you feel like you're getting value for Lewis Graben? Um, that's a good question. The full-time whistle. whistle has just gone, and Paul Town are the Dorset Senior Cup winners for the second season in a row. They've beaten Hammer the United by two goals to nil here at Cuthbury tonight. Another trophy in the cabinet for the Dolphins. Paul Pirates are the Elite League champions for a second consecutive year after they completed a 90-71 victory over the Coventry Bees in the grand final. Here's Paul promoter Matt Ford speaking to Hot Radio after the meeting. Considering the setbacks you had, you had them last season, you've had them again this season and still to go on and do it. How does this one rank amongst the other six? And of course this is back to back as well. Incredible. Preston hooks it back in with his left foot. Two men in there for the Dolphins. Drop to O'Hanlon with a volley. Hits the crossbar. Back out yeah! in the back of the net. Marvin Brooks with the header, he's got the equaliser for Paul Town here at Clareton Park and with 15 seconds to go plus any stoppage time it is Bath City 1, Paul Town 1 in the second qualifying round of the FA Cup and there is the final whistle and Paul Town from the brink of defeat here at Bath City and heading out of the FA Cup have managed to get themselves an equaliser Marvin Brooks on the 90 minute mark Paul Town will take Bath back to Tottenham for a replay on Tuesday night wow what a game you have witnessed here on Hot Radio The Stadium with Jordan Clark.